Welcome to What's Good Blog's video review. My name is Jay Boucher and today I'm going to be reviewing Auto Run Manager by And RS Studios. Uh, I just want to start off by saying I've reviewed this before and this is version 2.0.5 that was just recently released and I'm now reviewing it again. Um, and another thing I want to point out before, if you run this along with um, the same developer's program, Auto Killer Memory Optimizer, um, it works beautifully. So the, the basic premises of this app is it will give you control over stopping programs that start when you start up your phone. So I'm sure um, everyone has a ton of programs, everyone's got a ton of programs that start when you start up your phone and that a lot of them are really annoying, such as Amazon MP3, which is one of the Motorola bloatware that they put on the phone. Um, and what else can I find here? Uh, Bluetooth stuff that you don't need to turn on, etc, etc. So, I just want to say I'm also running, my phone has been rooted, and I have a donator version of the app um, to test. So there are some features that will be available for me that are not available for those who have the free version of the app. Basically what you do is you can come in and actually let me turn something off. I have it showing system entries, so I don't want it to do that. It will only show apps I've downloaded. So we take a look at this. These are all the apps that are either... Um, enabled to run when to, to be okay when the phone boots up to run that we will allow it to run and apps that we want to disable from running so let's look at the top right now so right now we have something called Amazon MP3 some bloatware like I just mentioned I have it on disabled however it's running and it says self restarter under that so this is an app that if this, if this program tries to kill it it'll automatically restart itself which sucks so we keep looking at the other apps I have um, most of them I have as disabled. Some of them, however, are self-restarters and restarted themselves, such as Hippocrates, Google Tasks, um, Page Once. These things all restarted themselves. Skype Mobile, which came on my phone from Verizon, that I don't want. Um, Titanium Backup also restarted itself, which is another uh, good rooted app. So what you do is you go to Settings. And under the settings, this is a setting that can only be locked if you've donated, it's called Prevent Restart, which tries to disable applications when they restart automatically. Now, it actually worked pretty well. If you take a look, only maybe six or seven apps that are self-restarters actually self-restarted, and it was able to block the other ones from restarting, which is good. But if you are really, really want those apps to be killed, you can enable Chuck Norris mode. So Chuck Norris mode requires root access and will actually aggressively use the kill command from the system to kill the, the, to kill the app. It, it's a complete process termination, and it'll work much stronger than the regular app works. Um, however, you can't enable it with show system entries at the same time, and to enable system app disabling. So if you want to disable some of your system's apps that start off, such as Google Voice, which for some reason they consider a system app, but it's not, it doesn't come with the system, um, you have to disable Chuck Norris mode. So there will be more things that will start running when you boot up, but it will have a better chance of um, killing them. I mean, so that there will be... I'm sorry. It'll be able... You'll be able to kill the system apps, but you have a worse chance of being able to stop restarters because Chuck Norris mode wasn't enabled. Um, so we're going to turn that off because I don't want to disable any system apps as of now. And I'll keep... I'll keep Chuck... I kept... Chuck Norris mode off for now while I've been testing out the app. Um, it's also advanced mode. So advanced mode brings it over here to advanced mode. Advanced mode so it takes a look at all the apps on the phone, all the processes that are running, and figures out what can call them, such as a f receiving a phone call, receiving a text message, receiving a message from another program, receiving a, a message that says that your program will update. Um, so let's take a look. Something like Repocrates. So Hippocrates is looking for, is catching something, an intent. So um, checking for outdated uh, drug references. Um, let's see what this is looking for. Look at, looking for stuff that will automatically trigger the program to open. And these stuff are all running. And these stuff, all, it all takes up resources and it all slows your phone down. So you can disable certain programs from having these catches where it'll auto start itself after it receives some sort of signal. And that will also aggressively keep your phone running at top speed without any slowdowns because all this stuff has been shut down. So if you use this app in conjunction with the, uh, oh, let me find it here, Auto Killer Memory Optimizer, which I use um, and keep my memory actually pretty free and pretty open, 
this will actually be really awesome because it'll help keep your memory open and it'll also keep your uh, phone running at top speed and I have not noticed any distant difference in battery usage but I have noticed that the phone is a lot more responsive so these are two apps that you really want to use together um, remember so that's the auto run manager and auto killer memory optimizer um, if you have any questions please check us out at www.whatsgoodblog.com and uh, you can check out my other video review of the Auto Killer Memory Advisor, Memory Optimizer, and the Auto Run Manager previously. Thanks a lot.